Hey guys, I know a lot of you were commenting and saying that you wanted to hear my creepy ghost stories. So I figured why not set up the room a little bit dark and spooky so that I can tell this stupid story and I'll get started. <laughs> So this all started before I even met Melissa. I had a really weird incident when I was younger. I was pulled under the covers and when I woke up, nobody else was in the room. It was definitely before I was like eight years old. From what I remember, it really creeped me out, but I never really thought about it after that too much. It just stuck in my mind, but it didn't, I was just like, whatever, it could have just been a dream. It's not a big deal. So I ended up moving into this house that you see here on the screen and it was, um, I was very happy because it was the first time I actually had a house and it wasn't an apartment. When I first moved into this house is when I noticed that Spooky's seizures started to get really bad. And there were times where he was having like up to 15 a day. Eventually, unfortunately, uh, Spooky had to be put down. And it was like one of the hardest things that I had to do. But I couldn't watch him suffer anymore. And I have pictures that uh, from the night that I found him when he started attacking himself. And I can't even really show those because they were so gruesome. They're not really pictures of him. Um, I, I definitely didn't want to take pictures of him, but I got some pictures of his tail and I got some pictures of the floor and it was just covered in blood. So Spooky was always the main problem of why I didn't really have people over my house because he wasn't really friendly towards people once he started having the seizures. I just never really had any friends over too much, but once he passed away, I started having some friends over again and uh, some people were coming over and partying at the time. So before I decided to move out of this house, I went into the backyard one day and I realized that my garage door was open. And this door is a door that is constantly locked with a deadbolt. I never opened the door, I never used it, so it was always locked. And I came home and it was open. Open. And it really freaked me out because the only person who had the key was the owner of the house And I was really concerned that maybe he was coming by while I wasn't there to like check up on the house You're supposed to notify within 24 hours whether or not you're gonna come to a house like that And I was never getting any notifications So I started thinking maybe he's just coming by and when I questioned him about it He said no he would never do that and I took his word for it I didn't think that he would be stupid enough to do something like that. It could get him in a lot of trouble I kind of just forgot about it and then my friend stayed over one night and we we were talking about all these issues and <laughs> I will never forget I was so freaked out one day from the noises that I was hearing in the attic that we were joking about it and she was like I'll go up there I'll see if there's anything up there and I was just like don't go up there and she was like I'll go up there and check so I was like all right you really want to go up there because I remember hearing about a bunch of stories where there was would be like people just sleeping in other people's homes just hiding in attics or in a garage or somewhere where the family doesn't really visit often. It started getting me thinking that maybe there was somebody living up there because even when my friends would sleep over, they would wake up in the middle of the night and they would hear these weird noises. So after that year, I ended up moving out of that house and going back to live with my mom for a while. And that's when Doggy ended up passing away. It was like right as we were moving out of that house, she was very sick. And by the time I got to my mom's house, I don't know if it was the stress of the move or what, she just couldn't make it anymore. And I lost both of them within a, about a month or two apart. Fast forward another year and I ended up meeting Melissa and we got together and I decided I wanted to move back into that house. There were times where I would just wake up in the middle of the night because she would just pop up out of bed really quick. And I would go, what happened, what happened? And she would just go back, lay down and go back to sleep. I just thought maybe she got freaked out with something and she was just gonna go back to sleep and it was no big deal but when I would ask her about it the next day she would never remember doing that and it would happen a lot of times so that started getting really creepy too now I'll go ahead and wrap up this story because the footage that you're gonna see next is what really freaked me out about that house my brother called me one night because he wanted to come over with his friends, so I said, yeah, not a problem. And since I knew he was gonna be coming by, I left him a key, but you'll watch me in this footage and I get in my car and as I'm leaving, you can see me shut the door here and 
I'm driving away to the mechanic shop where uh, a friend of mine was helping me rebuild that car. And then after I leave, all of a sudden my dog starts to freak out and she goes and she hides under the bed. And Scout was there at the time too and he never once left the room. And it was really weird because if my door was open, they would have ran out the door. There was no way they would have stayed in that house. But for some reason, while that door was opening and closing all day, they stayed hiding under my bed. Now here's where things got extremely weird for me. The way these cameras work is that they were set to start recording only a couple of seconds before there was any movement. So if it sensed any movement, it would go back about three seconds and it would grab that footage and then it would start from there. The problem is that what you're seeing here is that it stopped recording and then all of a sudden the door was open at where it started recording again. And at that point, it should have went back to where before the door opened and started recording from there so you can actually see it open. All that I had on my security footage was a couple seconds after the door was already opened. So I have no idea how it didn't see that. brother got to the house he noticed that the door was open so he gave me a call real quick because he thought maybe I got robbed so I told him I said listen just be careful go inside the house make sure the animals are safe and let me know what's going on so after he went and made sure the coast was clear he called me back and he was still really freaked out because he saw that the animals were all right but he didn't understand how that door could have been open I even went back a bunch of times and checked the door I would push it and as the door would close, I would sit there and pull on the handle to see if I could open it again. Because I thought maybe I didn't push it closed all the way. But every single time, no matter how lightly I pushed the door, it would just latch and it would close every single time. But for some reason on this day, even though it latched, somehow it opened again. And there's even a point here in the video where you can see where it just slams shut again and then it just casually opens with no problem. We had a lot of stray cats around the house and I would always, you know, take care of them. There was probably 15 to 20 of them that would hang out around the house and we would feed them and give them water and everything. And whenever we would watch them on the camera at night, they would always do really weird things too. And I even got some really creepy pictures of them looking at stuff that wasn't there and, and just playing with stuff that wasn't there. 
So I don't know. I don't believe in ghosts and I just feel like those were just some really weird coincidences of things that have happened uh, in my life, especially at this old house. It was just really weird that a lot of this stuff happened at the old house. Let me know what you think and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment below. Let me know what you thought.